Hello guys, Morden here and welcome back to Hearthstone. Um, now I'm playing here a Mage Arena run, currently 9 win, 1 loss. Um, the deck um, is pretty basic, I have 1 Fireball here, I have um, 2 Dark Skill Healers, 2 Blizzard and 1 Flamesuckers AoE, and then I have Illidan Storm Rage, who is pretty good in the late game. But let's see um, what we're playing against now. Um, I also have 2 RNG cards, I actually have more, but I have 1 Mad Bomber, and I have 2, or I actually have another Madder Bomber. So that's also interesting. Let's see who our first opponent's gonna be. Jaina versus Anduin. And we got a priest. The light shall bring victory. You asked for it. Um starting hand here, I'm only gonna keep the infiltrate. I need a two drop, need a free drop. I have a decent amount of two drops, even like something like flame cannon that's just removal. Unfortunately I get two five drops back, but maybe the Wagon is gonna carry this. Wagon's gonna have to carry this at all. Against Priest, my strategy is, um, like normally I play my deck a pretty late game because I got Illidan, Ogres and everything. And, oh, he used Mind Vision. So what, what I know now for sure is that he has this, this or this. Um, if he, let's see what he plays. Like if he has the Blood Sail, he would probably play it this turn, unless he has another two drop. But if he just heals now, you know, okay, it's not going to be the Blood Sail. And it's the blood sale. See? That was pretty easy to figure out. <clears throat> um, normally, I would sacrifice my wagon here and ping it down. Because then I have a 2-3 on the board, which is better protected against Holy Nova. But in this case, I'm actually going to use my blood sale to kill this. Because I have a cult buster coming out. And next turn, I might be able to kill both of my minions with the cult buster. Also, I have to remember, like, he still has a coin. I think here I could have attacked with my Wagon. I mean, there's no reason to stay in stealth here at this point. Magic detected. That's not what I wanted to see. Like, this could kill this, this, plus Cultmaster. So I have to gamble now. If I'm civil portal. Oh, we got a counter him! That's awesome! Magic detected. And this gives my card master the value I'm looking for next turn. <laughs> That's exactly what I need in this situation. I am ready. Is someone injured? Okay, I was always thinking about playing Dark Seal Healer here. Okay. Hmm, that was pretty good actually. I can't do much here. I mean, with Kalpas, what am I gonna get? I'm only gonna kill one card. And then he might hold Nova next turn. I'm gonna do something different here. I'm gonna kill the taunt and heal up. I could also YOLO mad a bomber. Hmm. But now healing up here is better. Because you get 2 2 HP. And now I'm pretty well protected against um, Holy Nova. I mean, yeah, he's gonna draw like a shitload of cards now, but I think this gives me enough board control to deal with all the cards he has. He has a free card advantage right now. My shield for Argus. Like every turn, he can make like the best play now. Ah! But I don't think it's that bad. Blizzard is an option here, but I think it's better to just wipe the board and play Frost Elemental. I wonder. Dyland lover. Oh. 
Okay, we're both still at 30 HP. That's typical like mage against priest, like nothing happens in the early. I got a removal, he got the heals. But yeah, let's see. I mean, even with all his cards, with his nine or whatever cards that he has, what is he gonna do with six mana here? That would like really put me back. There is nothing you could do. So yeah, I gave him a lot of free cards, but I kept board control and I think the board control is gonna make me win now. Should have there. Powering up portals online. Um, hmm. So many plays here. I think that's the best. Let's play around who will know by this point of the game. Now he only has a 2 guard advantage. I have decent board control. And I have a lot of like, like I have a meta bomber and a map bomber in my hand. But right now I can't play them because I have board control. Like, playing a meta bomber here would hurt me more than him. Really? That's your turn 7 play with 8 cards in your head. Heal yourself. Okay. <laughs> what could he have? Why would he heal himself here? He doesn't have a 6 drop, he doesn't have a 7 drop. Silence the cult Huh. I'm seriously considered to gamble here. Play map bomber. But it's too risky. I mean, I don't mind, I mean... I don't want the mad bomber to hit the healer here. What I think I'm just gonna sacrifice my cult master and play the ogre. <laughs> but that was pretty close. Yolo bomber, but maybe it's gonna be more useful later. But I have to get the ogre out. But yeah, I would have had the ogre anyway. Because turn 10 is mind control and I need to be prepared for that. The mage didn't, uh, priest didn't want to play many creatures because he knows that I have um, flame strike or a blizzard. Magic detected. This guy again. But again, I mean, meta bomber would. Yeah, can't play meta bomber here. I have to play blizzard. You know, that's also. Really, really far from idea, but I don't see any other play. <sighs> I have a second one anyway. Let's go there, got arcane intellect now, because that keeps my card advantage up. I'm ready one card advantage for gain intellect, it's gonna be two card advantage. Finally! Yes! Finally I get some sick value out of my meta bomber. Um I'm gonna use a cane intellect. I'm not, I'm not too keen on like playing the harvest golem here. Because he might have a cabal shadow breast. Okay, that changes things. That is pretty tough. I could trade Meta Bomber. Ping what face. To do? What to or do? I could Brewmaster and then either Harvest Golem or Kirin Tormage. Probably Kirin Tormage. But I think I have enough minutes here now. I don't need to get this back. I'd rather go for board control here because he might have something. He might have something like um, Villains Chosen where he buffs his Fan Gripper. So I'd rather get rid of it when I can now, that easily. Bird shell with that. Okay. 
to be able to deal with that. Actually, this gives me a lot of presents. Put it on your head. I was thinking about map bomber getting up to 6 HP so my ogre could kill it, but first he can heal. And second, this is much better because even if he kills the 5 4, now with a 6 7, I still have Blizzard to finish it off next turn. He also has a brewmaster. Okay. Hmm. Blizzard doesn't do anything here. Could play the Stingo. Plus the Kirin Tormage. Oh, I could play Blizzard. I wonder. For Blizzard, both gonna be 2 HP, but he could heal. He could heal. I'd rather play creatures now. Tadingo! Yes! <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna get even more value out of my Blizzard if he plays some creatures. I mean, he's gonna kill that, kill that. So those two are gonna stay alive with less with low HP. Place one or two more minions, I get a lot of value. There we go. That blizzard has some serious value. Definitely gonna blizzard here. And then I have some option. Dark Iron Dwarf, the free two to eight. What to do? What to do? Don't think he has mind control. If he had mind control, he would have used it. Or ping, nah. Dark Iron Dwarf is the play. Nah, I have to ping. Okay, so I'm gonna attack with my ogre actually. And don't play Dark Iron Dwarf. Yeah, I got good board control now and I got my Illidan coming up to be able to remove most of his stuff, so I think right now I'm in pretty good shape. Hungry Dragon gives me a Stone Dusk for not really that good, but whatever. There's Temple Fossil. I can heal the 6 HP. Gonna have to do that. And kill the dragon. I can actually kill both. No, I can't. I wonder. For not a time. It's all over, I'm in trouble. I mean, I could actually play Dark Iron Dwarf and trade this. But I prefer the alternative Ooh, play. To play around Holy Nova. I mean, the alternative play would have been Dark Iron Dwarf into the board trade. Then I would have a 4 4 instead of a 2 3 on the board. Holding <laughs> it's time for a little blood. See, now I get to play. Okay, donating a six six into a six one. That value. Alright, game should be pretty much won, unless he top decks mind control and takes my Illidan. I mean, normally a priest 
Uh, nine wins has mind control. Shadow madness. Okay. I would have played differently. But I can do a lot of pressure now with the war golem. Do I play abusive sergeant here or not? It'll give me another 2 1 on the board. Why not? If he gets top decks mind control, I'm gonna have a lot more damage on the board. Shall be next. He will talk to you with Mike now if Riku next turn. Illidan! It's good preparation for the next. And there's the Mind Control top deck, but it's too late. It's too late. It's good pre uh, preparation for next World of Warcraft expansion. I'm actually looking forward to that. And let's see what they got here now. Jaina versus Jaina. A Mage Mirror. You asked for it. My magic will tear you apart. This can actually go either way. Can keep the flame cannon here. Even though I turn one abusive Sasha is not that bad. But then she's just gonna bring it down next turn. I mean I'm up against the mage. Depends on the glass that I'm up against. To make that kind of play. Or we got my AoE, or we got late game, and I got good removal and a strong two drop. The one card I did not want to see. Drag, no, stupid. I mean, if she prospers now, she's gonna have a 2 3, then have the flame cannon next turn. Powering up portals online. Okay. That is good. Um, it was another close call. Do I attack here or do I attack face? But I think it's better to get the mana bomb low. Wow. Now I can't really do anything. I'm gonna have to count on my removal to win this game. She keeps playing big minions and goes straight for the face. I got flame strike and blizzard now. So the more minions she plays, the better for me. I don't agree with a lot of the plays that he makes. I mean, he's not playing around my AoE. Gonna play another dark skill here. I wanna get more value on Blizzard than Flame Strike. I'm not gonna play Blizzard just to kill 1 4 2 and damage a 2 3. She's pinging a lot. But again, I still don't need to use anything here right now. Now we might see like a fireball or sheep. Like I'm gonna be real, real conservative with my AoE here. What to do? What to do? Okay. Flame strike value is increasing. Okay. I think 
think we're gonna go for the Blizzard into Flame Strike combo here. <laughs> that value flame strike. I would be surprised if she plays any middle here. With less than 5 HP. Uh, with, yeah, with 5 or less HP. Yeah, she's not gonna play anything. She knows. She fucking knows. Oh man. I could act like I don't have flame strike. I wonder. I could freeze the seven four, kill the four three. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna pretend I don't have flame strike. Wait, this is even better. I have eight mana left. I can get it back, then I have 7 mana, then a ping 1, then I have 5 mana. Then I can play the Stingo. I wonder if she believes me. <laughs> Does she believe me that I don't have Flame Strike? And is she gonna flute the board now? I think my bluff works. Hmm. For the king! Dark Iron Dwarf? No. She has something to buff. Dark Iron Dwarf abuses Arch and something like that. Okay, Volving Great. Come on, one more minion. One more two top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And another one. Stealth, okay. My bluff work. That's how you bluff in Hearthstone. Pretend you don't have flame strike. Like I could have flame strike the turn earlier. But I think it's much better to pretend I don't have it. Let her flute the board and then go for it. Not to be careful because of her flame strike. I wonder. I think best way to play around it. Is that? The alternative player I had here was Ogre into Brewmaster on the Wagon to save the Wagon. Like but if you. I do that play, oh Blizzard. That's still fine though. Hmm. I mean, if she has flame strike, why wouldn't she use it last turn? Hmm. I could freeze and save the frost elemental.
Well, I could freeze and save the ogre. And hope she doesn't have flamestrike. I mean, I have two super strong minions. And if she has flamestrike, at least I can play the mad bomber and clean up a bit. But I have nothing to play with him. She top decked the direwolf alpha. Brewmaster. Okay, Frost Elemental. Face, face. Okay. Hmm. Fireball does nothing here. You have to play the war golem. What to do? What to do? Question is, should I play war golem or ogre? I don't think she has a big game now. I mean, I had war golem out before and she didn't big game. I mean, it could be that she has big game now, but it's unlikely. And ping that, because that's the only thing. I can ping next turn and kill it. If she has Pyroblast, she's lethal. If she has two fireballs, she's lethal. I mean, there's a mana burn, which is a threat. If she has Frostball, even. This mana burn gets stronger and stronger. Hmm. The game is pretty intense, but that's normal for a 10 win game. Like, this game is for 11 wins. So both decks are pretty decent, both players know how to play. And everyone wants to get 12 wins in arena. I wonder. I'm okay with that. What? Is this 11 wins or not? Why would you sacrifice a 2-3 mana worm instead of a 2-1 direwolf alpha? They even picked last game. I mean, she could have like told me, haha, by attacking with direwolf, they're just pointless or I would have wasted my ping last turn. But instead she attacks with a mana worm. I think she's just too nervous now or something. I wonder. Time to clean up, Meta Bomber. <laughs> Like now I have to win. After she did such a misplay, I have to win now. Game is still intense, but that... Like I just don't understand. Huh. <sighs> oh man, this turn. Should I trust the bad bomber? Hmm. What's the chance? I think there's a decent chance. I mean, there's four targets and he only needs to hit her face once. I have nine damage here and then I need one time the bad bomber. Please, hit Chaina once. Hit Chaina once. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> That is the wrong Jaina! That is the wrong Jaina! Not me! Time runs out on me. Could she have lethal? Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not gonna fireball the free fire. Please, don't have lethal. I mean, I don't think she has, unless she top takes fire blast now. 
She doesn't have a fireball, she would have used it before. Someday I'll be just like you. Phew. That was Toast Game. I need one damage. I need one damage. We have many secrets. If she has fireball or top decks fireball, I still survive with one HP. Next turn I can ping fireball. And the shield's up. But what's the chance for that? Yes! Yes! What a game! Phew. Oh man. That game. I think the Bob Bisper with the Dire Wolf cost her the game. That was fucking insane. Now we had 11 wins, 2 losses. What's gonna be the final boss? Wait time, 1 minute. There's not many people with 11 wins usually in Arena. And it's always the same one, like every time I play Arena, like when I get to 10 plus wins, I often meet the same people over and over. Like you have to be really really good at Arena to get consistently like high wins. And final boss is a druid! With Mage I'm feeling extremely um, comfortable against a druid. But I lost against a druid before. But I should win. If I play this correctly, I should win. Starting hand is okay. I have a lot of removal. I don't have sheep. Actually my deck is not as good not good against druid decks. For a mage deck. But I still think I'm slight favorite here. Take the initiative here. I mean I could have passed, let him play something and then map bomb it. What's the chance like he's gonna map bomb uh, he's gonna play one HP creature? Or even 2 HP creature, and against 3 HP, Mad Bomber is really useless. Hmm, I wonder. What could be- what could he be thinking about? He's not looking at cards, so I don't think he's thinking right now. He targeted three cards, so he has many options now. Okay, hmm. That sucks. I still think I have to get the map bomb out here. Don't hit the blood seal. That sucks. I mean, alternative play was ping face. If ping face, I have a 2-3 on the board, that he can then attack shapeshift down. And then he's a 2-1 on the board and I have nothing. But now with playing the map bomber, even if he kills it now, I still have a 3-2 on the board. To deal with whatever he's gonna play. I'm gonna play Harvest Golem over King. He shouldn't be able to deal with it. Unless something crazy like Mark of the Wild. Guess my house golem is gonna get some value here. Final 
Druid lane looks pretty good right now. I'm against a Druid. I survived the early game. I mean, okay, I went second, so he's one man ahead of me. But I got a pillar that shredder on the board now. Alright, that's good value for Dark Iron Dwarf. No. It's better to ping, trade, Grizzly. Because I want to protect whatever this becomes. <laughs> okay. I mean, if I would have played Dark Iron Dwarf, I would have a 4 Ready 4 and a 1 this. 3 now. And now I have 3 3 and a 1 3. Okay, perfect. Hmm, I have two plays. I can sacrifice my ghoul into that Archmage, making it a 4-5. Mm. Then I could Dark Iron Dwarf my 3-3 and finish off the Archmage. And ping face. Then I have a 4-4 on the board. Yeah. Alternative play is the Ogre, but I think Archmage is dangerous, I have to get rid of it. Yeah. Like, probably Archmage is dangerous, like he could have Starfire, Starfall, Swipe, or that kind of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna kill that. Let's see what I get. I don't have many mechs in my deck. I have the Harvest Golem, but it's gone already. But if I play this, I'm really vulnerable to swipe. I still think I should play it. For tempo. He doesn't have swipe. Okay, that's good to know. If he had swipe, he would have used it, so he doesn't have it. And now I get sick value on my blizzard. He's playing around it actually. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not gonna blizzard a flame strike here. I'm gonna play Ogre and ping that. I have three AOEs, he only has three cards left. I have an Illidan. But Illidan does do nothing right now. I don't wanna play the Illidan. That's good. The frost wolves stand ready. That's asking for a blizzard. Oh. He's playing around my AoE. So I think he's pretty clever. Oh. So I can't blizzard yet. For not a time. I still like with with my current hand I, I should be able to win. The, I mean the only problem are like big cards like Iron Bark and so on. For Blackwing. That's a big card. But now I can do the combo. Blizzard now and then Flamesing next turn. Oh yeah baby. That is a blizzard. and ping that down. He's gonna shapeshift loot order now. Pretty basic play. Knocks and that is a flame strike. And if a flame strike now is out of cards, then I have Illidan plus another AoE. Alright. Final boss, how could he come back in this game? Iron Bark. Mm, that's good. Can't play Illidan now, because Illidan would actually die to the fucking tiger. But the War Golem should be able to create a lot of pressure here. A 
Abuse the sergeant with just the Edu shape shift. <laughs> and I'm gonna play Abuse the sergeant with Illidan. Oh shit. I'm actually forced to Blizzard now to deal with the Cobra. So still can't play Illidan. Flame cannon is a possibility here, but no. Got a blizzard. Kill the cobra. And go face. Next turn I have 10 damage right now. I need one more. I have a fireball in my deck that I didn't use yet. Alright, that's a desperation play. I actually need 2 damage now. The current dwarf has already been used. Okay. Hello, brother. Hello, brother. Welcome to World of Warcraft Expansion Legion. I can see. 12 wins! Now let's see the rewards and the card that we get. Like the key. That's the deck. So you can quickly make a screenshot. Mana curve is important. Pretty um, constant mana curve. Whoa! 405 gold. A pack and a golden high main. There we go. And what's the pack gonna give us? Man. Not good, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed another Hearthstone video. Um, let me know if you want more of this, because I really enjoy playing Arena. Soon I'm gonna play Arena on stream, and yeah, hope you guys had fun. Thanks for watching, I'll be back.